it's Saturday here at the old shop. It's just, I think it's just afternoon. So I'll say good afternoon. And I thought I would come back into the sitting room. We did visit here at last in the last video or possibly the one before I've forgotten now. Um, but it was under candlelight. And I said at the time that I was not brave enough to show you it in daylight because it needs various things doing like washing the floor, which I have now done. I washed it yesterday afternoon and it might sound like a silly thing silly sh easy thing to do but i'm not the greatest one at this kind of thing and doing it the easy way and i had pulled everything out gradually and hoovered around underneath and behind and then i washed it all and then i kind of had to wipe it all anyway um to cut a long story short it was a bit of a faff but it's now done so um so i thought we'd come and have a quick look uh so i'll just quickly kind of have a whiz around the room um, up there, some there's some dried things that have been there for a while, and I was actually going to get rid of them because it's uh, well, because of the new year and everything. But actually, they're still quite fresh and bright, and so I thought actually I'll leave them there for a bit because they're quite cheerful. I do love orange, and they just I don't know they just fill up that top shelf quite well. And I've got wood anyway stashed in the other shelves. I need to refill that bus that box there, but it's got some in, um, as you can see. So I tend to just bring it into the house and let it dry out. And I cleaned all under there, which we've got a bit woody. And um, it's my grandmother's chair again. She may look a little bit different in daylight, but I do love it so. And the fire, I've laid that ready for later. I'd, I'd like to get that cleaned out and ready. And I've brought some more wood in from outside, which I've put beside the fire to make sure it dries out. And there's some kindling bits that, because it's so windy, they dried out all the bits they're just bits i picked off the ground actually around the wood pile and they they're usually soggy and wet and horrible but they dried out so much with the wind that i thought well they might as well come in and act as kindling uh, what else have i done i've cleaned kind of tidied and cleaned these shelves they're not the most beautiful thing in the world but eventually i shall either get something else or arrange them nicely or something you know this is a collection of belemnites that i have shown before on Instagram. Um, aren't they lovely? They ca all came off the beach beach locally. Um, there's a couple of beaches very close by. Really good for bell nights, which I don't know if you didn't know, are a, a, a fossilised a kind of relation to the squid. Millions, I, oh I used to know how many millions of years old. Something like 201 million to 66 million years old, which is hard to get your head around. And this little shelf here, I've been painting that I've just need to put some wax on there, go and get some wax out of the shed because I'm going to keep just a few CDs, just the ones that I want to listen to. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of music at the moment, but it's quite nice to put it on first thing, I think just to get myself started in the day. And then this is where you can look out of the window at the birds. And who are not actually performing just because I'm showing you, but they will, they are really active at the moment. And it's really nice just to have the table out there in the front. And I wanted to show you the front garden, but I will. I'm, well, I'll do a little bit of work on in in there later if it warms up a tiny bit, and then I can come back to show that another time. And it's a bookcase. There's just a few books down in here, really. Uh, most of them are upstairs, but it's just nice to have a few. And this little table. It's one of a special. It's not really in a very good place. It's just kind of put there for now really but it's it's just one of my kind of special things um and i bought it well a few years ago several years ago now it was a birthday kind of partly a birthday present and um it came from heels apparently the london department store is from the 70s i think it's the 70s rather than the 60s anyway it's certainly vintage and it's it's a bit wobbly, but it is so lovely. And I'm not it hasn't kind of got a purpose really in a way, but it's just too lovely not to have. It's not in a good place in front of the bookcase there, but um, it will find a home. I think we might have looked at the hair before, but I'll show you. That's the hair painting, and the woman in the hair. You can see the woman leaping with the hair. So that's a special painting. That's by uh, Jesse Brogan in. Island. Um, what else can I show you? Got my table a bit more clear because I've been tidying up, and that's where I sit on that poof um, by the fire, and sofa. 
the charity shop sofa, which um, does the job beautifully. And the crochet project, which I'm actually thinking of taking a great big chunk out of that, which, um, which seems I've only just learnt to crochet, is a bit of a shame, but I don't like one of the colours, and I'm just like that. I don't mind taking loads out and having to do lots again, if it makes it right, it makes the colours right. So I'm, I'm going to do that. I've decided to do that. And just kind of just finishing the tour, really. Um, that card is a card for Candlemas with um, Bridget or Brige, I think she should be pronounced, with her swan and, and light of inspiration. I was sent that card, which is a beautiful surprise by a friend of mine. And I haven't really done anything to mark the fact it's Candlemas in Ulk, uh, how, however you like to um, think of it this time of year. The snowdrop festival and the swan and the inspiration and the coming of the green but um what i have done i haven't got any snowdrops in here because i don't like to bring them in really but i've got a swan feather which you can see i've put down there which is my little concession to the season reminds me of the season and i've also got this incense going which um it's a star child one again i think i do i do have a few of the incenses and it's called bridget or Bridge. Um, so it's kind of for this time of year and it smells lovely. It reminds me of taking this um, pot that I burn it in, which is a replica of a Bronze Age pot, which is um, made it was another present actually, but um, but anyway, it was actually made by a, a friend of ours who's pre uh, very well versed in prehistoric pottery and lots of other things because she's an archaeologist as well as a potter. And um, Trevor gave that to me one year, and anyway, so I like I, one year I took it to a, a spring in West Norfolk and just burnt it just in the spring, just at that time, on I think it was either first or second of February, and that, the smell of it, as bells tend to do, they always kind of remind you of things. They that I think they for me anyway, and I think for a lot of people they're one of the most basic ways we uh, connect with things from our in our memories. And the smell of this incense, which I haven't lit, I haven't, I've just lit it today because I thought I would um, talk about it a little bit. But I haven't, I may have done last year, I can't remember, but I haven't done very much anyway since that occasion, which is probably about, oh, I don't know, I can look it up seven years ago maybe. Um, and it's just brought it straight back. So, um, and I'd love to go back there again, but it's a long way. Where I live now, um, it's a long way. It's, of course, Ladywell. And it's at um, a place called Sedgeford, which is right over in the west of Norfolk. But I will go there again one day. And because um, Norfolk has got not has not got very many spring named springs or holy wells at all, unlike some counties and some places like oh, it's thick with <laughs> thick with incense smoke now. Look at it. Um, uh, I'll finish this in a moment. But anyway, I thought you might like to see. Um, yeah, I was just saying some counties like Cornwall, I've uh, got many, many named holy wells, which are probably much older than the name of the saints which they commemorate. Although I like them as I like them with saints' names as well. I'm not I'm not fussy. Um I like saints. Um but um but Norfolk doesn't and that's because of our geology here. There are very, very, very few. I can only think of about three or four maybe in the whole of Norfolk. And this one behind the church is called the Lady Well, and the church is dedicated to St Mary, so that she is in that instance the lady, and it's a it's a place you can actually get down to, and um and there are go geese in the field. Well, they were this is years ago, but there were geese in the field, and they feel kind of I don't know. They just it feels very right, and you go down. There's a great big alder tree and a big strange boulder in the water which is not again not not normal in Norfolk we don't have indigenous stone apart from flint but it was there anyway and and just the, where the water was just coming out and and just a very slow trickle but into a little what you'd call a well just a pool of water really and then in, on into the stream and it's a magical magical place I would love to go there again and I have got I'll see if I can find the photograph I have got a photograph of just exactly that moment with the incense in this very vessel I'll just pop round to again here um, in the spring so I will see if I can find that and I'll put that into the video as well if I can if I can if I can do that technically because it's probably on a different device and all the rest of it but I will see what I can do 
So that's it. I'll go leave this room now before it gets completely enveloped in incense smoke. But uh, to believe me, it smells really lovely. I'm very much enjoying it. And I hope you've enjoyed this little lightning tour. And I'll just see if there's any birds on the bird table before we stop, actually. Because it'd be nice to show you if I can. Yeah, there is a robin. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can you see it? And and blue tits as well on the on the feeders and on the coconut. See, it's a really lovely place to be because you can see how 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 much they enjoy the uh, the the table and how close it is to the sitting room as well. So it's really easy to watch them, and as long as you stay still, they don't seem to mind at all. So that's it. So I shall just um I shall just say goodbye from this part of the video anyway, and hope to see you again soon.